All right, everyone. So we're gonna do the style of tepareth by using this piece of whiteboard. Uh, usually they make get the wood and they stucco it or put basically plaster on it and then paint over it. But I'm just gonna cut the size of this uh, on the table saw, and then we're gonna get at the right measurement. So all right, everyone. So we cut the particle board into three pieces. You can see here that I've put them in according to the size. The actual stella the tepareth is uh, 31 by 29 centimeters. So what we've done is we've cut three of them out of one piece, and then we're gonna round out the top area. So we're gonna round it out from here and to create and replicate the actual Stella. Now, usually it would be on wood, a thick wood, but I'm not gonna do that since it's too heavy. We'll just use this particle board, which is light and easy to use. So stay tuned for the rest of the, uh, the next All right, now, now what we've done is use the, uh, the compass, and we're using just the ruler, and we're gonna draw at the line here to be able to shave it off so it looks like a proper Stella, the one that we're going to make. So after that, we're gonna use the saw to cut the uh, contour area around so we can uh, shave off the pieces, sand it down, and then begin the painting process. All right, now that we've chopped the pieces off with the saw, here you can see the corners are gone, right? To get to that Stella mode, now we're gonna use uh, some sandpaper and we're just gonna soften it up and round it around so it uh, looks nice and proper. So, all right, all right. Stay tuned. now with some elbow grease and some sanding, you can see the top is rounded off as it would normally be in the Stella. Uh, traditionally, it wouldn't just be a square, but it would kind of taper uh, right over here, be beveled. So it'd be beveled on the corners like that. So that's what we've done. Now we can begin the drawing process and then eventually the painting process. So only two steps left. So we'll do a time lapse of the drawing. So now you see the uh, progress of the work here. You could see how uh, Rey Horati is developed and with his offering and Teperet's over here basically doing the offering. And then the, the, the Nutska on top with the with the solar disc over here, but it's basically being with two flying bacteria urei and two uh, wadjet eyes. So we're gonna, there's still a lot to do. There's the rays that are coming down and we're gonna do all this and there's some columns with floral columns on the sides. We're gonna do those as well. So stay tuned for that guys.
Hey, Egyptology lovers, the uh, Stella Tepperet is complete, the drawing, so you could see here Horus, I mean, Rehor Rakti with the sun disc on his head, the brandishing the powers, uh, the scepters of power, the crook and flail, and the waset. You have here the sun disc with the uh, two Uriai, this is uh, Rehor Rakti's name right over here, the two Wajet eyes for protection, the hieroglyphs that tells who this is and what her offering is, this is Tepperet. This is the uh, offering table of bread, uh, uh, bread, wine, uh, oils, lotus flowers, different type of things. Uh, Rehorakti is brandishing the crook and flail and the uh, scepter of power with the elf symbol of life. Here you have Nephirim on each no, Nephirim on each side, basically a lotus flower coming out of his head and the lily flower coming out with a symbol of the sky above the pet. And here you see the uh, Rehorakti is basically sending lotus flowers of rejuvenation to Teperet. Uh, so there you go. So that is the uh, completion, and we're going to color it tomorrow. Thanks for oh, watching. Lovers. So here you go. This is a continuation again of painting it, and uh, it's just an update for the Estella of Teperet, and we'll continue doing it until it's completely done. So stay tuned for another update for the Stella of Teperet. There you go. So the Stella of Teperet is complete. I've added all the colors. The only thing that's missing is the pink for her face, but I'm going to leave it blank because I don't have the pink. But there you go. That's it. The colors are all added in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the development of this Stella. Uh, it's just a simple board, not a piece of wood, just to save ourselves a little time. And all the colors have been added. So there it is, everyone. I did a post about this. You can read a little bit more about the hieroglyphs up there. But this is the completion of the uh, Stella of Tepperet. Thanks, guys.